Hello everyone, my name is Lance and I'm a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Missoula, Montana and we're doing a winter weather briefing to talk about multiple rounds of valley snow. Uh, this is starting tomorrow night, so December 8th through uh, early next week, December 12th-ish. Alright, so first we'll go over some highlights. Thursday begins a four to five day period where many valleys are forecast to see accumulating snow each day. Uh, this pattern with a series of snowmaking weather systems in close succession is relatively rare. So we see this happening every uh, once every few years. Uh, maybe the last time this happened is in 2012 or so. Um, there is potential that this pattern could lead to impressive valley snow totals, bringing up thoughts of historic events of the past. Uh, so this is just a really, a really good pattern. That's kind of why we want to do this briefing and let you guys know about what we're seeing. So we'll jump right into it. First, we're going to focus on uh, Clearwater, Lemhi, and Idaho counties. The snow there is expected to begin sometime Thursday evening. And the totals that you're looking at on this graphic are 24-hour snow totals starting uh, Thursday evening. So running Thursday evening through Friday evening. Uh, you can see some amounts there. Uh, don't get too caught up on the exact amounts for those points. Those are kind of the area what we're, what we're seeing. But it does give you a range to see that there is significant snow in the forecast uh, for Thursday evening through Friday evening in north central Idaho and Lemhi County. If we step forward here, we're focusing on uh, the same area, but now looking at Friday evening through Saturday evening. So another round of uh, impressive snow. This, this system uh, stays over us and we get more snow coming down. So places like Grangeville, three to four inches again, Salmon, two to three inches. And then the mountains of Idaho uh, pierce their 12, 12 to 18 inches. Uh, that might be a little on the high end with all the mountains around there, but uh, we are looking at significant snow totals even Friday evening through Saturday evening. Now kind of shifting our focus to west central Montana. Uh, the snow here is going to begin a little bit later because it's pushing up from the southwest. So uh, about midnight to 3 a.m. is when we expect that to start uh, early Friday morning. And these, these are 24-hour totals as well, again, starting uh, around midnight on Friday, going through the day Friday and into uh, Friday, Friday evening to midnight Saturday morning. And you can see there's, we have a lot of snow in the forecast, uh, especially, especially in the mountains, but the valleys are really where we're focusing on impacts. The fact that we have four to six inches in a lot of these valleys, Missoula could see uh, even a little bit more than that. Other places, uh, Lost Trail Pass, uh, anyone traveling over passes during this time period is want to be especially, especially prepared given there could be white, periods of whiteout conditions. Now stepping forward for the next 24 hour period, looking at the same area. Uh, here we have uh, four to six inches in from Missoula. So this, this runs from uh, midnight early Saturday morning uh, through the day Saturday into Saturday evening. And you can see this map looks uh, fairly similar to the last one. There's just a lot of snow being produced. We are in a good setup. Uh, it's a favorable pattern for, for valley snow. Moving on to northwest Montana, uh, amounts are a little bit lighter here. Uh, we have the, it's going to be a little bit later to start as well. We're thinking more, still early morning Friday, but more 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. This is the 24 hour total starting in that time frame and running through the early morning hours of Saturday. Uh, the, the valley amounts here are, are lighter, but still still significant. Uh, one, one thing to note here is that the, the mountains around Glacier National Park may, uh, may very well be underdone. So that's an area that we're looking at more closely and those amounts are probably gonna be quite a bit, quite a bit higher here once we look at them again. So stepping forward, now looking at, this is early Saturday morning through early Sunday morning. There's uh, additional snowfall uh, up in northwest Montana as well. Uh, two to three inches in Kalispell, uh, more four to six over Marias Pass. And again, these are for the for the areas, not exactly at the individual points. So if, if you live in Kalispell, if you see, you know, one inch uh, may very well happen. It's, it's a matter of that area being uh, two to three inches is what we're kind of expecting. All right, so that's kind of the, those are the first 48 hours, but now we're looking a little bit uh, further ahead here. So Saturday afternoon through Sunday morning, 
currently looks to be somewhat of a break. Uh, there's still quite a few scattered snow showers around the area. So some of those uh, bands of snow, you might still see some very impactful winter weather. But we're thinking uh, on a, a big picture, that's going to be kind of a, a break in the, in the action. Sunday night into Monday morning, we, we get a reinforcing push of Arctic air. And that, that enhances uh, snowfall. So we're thinking that snow intensities are going to increase across the area during this time. And once again, we could see heavy snow with whiteout conditions. Uh, and several more inches for the valleys. So th those graphics I showed you were, you know, 24 hours um, and then another 24 hours. Well, we're expecting more snow after that uh, on Sunday night into Monday. So th that kind of makes that four to five day period where we're seeing a lot of snow being produced by these this series of systems. So here's what we're focused on, uh, not simply the snow totals. So there's a lot that goes into creating those snow total amounts, um, and I won't get too focused on that other than to say that there's there's going to be a lot of valley snow with, with this series of systems. Uh, the potential for snow-packed valley roads for multiple days, that's a big impact to travelers, uh, even to aviation. Um, periods of heavy snow with wind, so when that Arctic push comes in Sunday night into Monday, we're, we're looking at that wind factor could make, make things even worse with uh, the blowing snow and more whiteout conditions, especially for passes. Um, and then, you know, our, our wind prone areas such as Bad Rock Canyon, Hellgate Canyon near Missoula. Um, and then timing details is, is another thing that we're, we're focusing on. So there's a lot of uncertainty there, uh, but looking at, is this happening during the morning or afternoon commutes, et cetera, we're, we're trying to, to pinpoint that. And those details are, are, are still hazy at this point. So here I just wanted to give you some of our confidence levels. We have low confidence in the details after Saturday afternoon. So the graphs I showed were before that time period. Um, we have moderate conf confidence in those amounts that we put on there. They could be higher or lower on your exact location, but those areas, again, are, are expected to see that much uh, snow. And we have high confidence that there will be periods of moderate to heavy snow impacting air and ground travel for most valleys. So that's that last bullet there is kind of the reason we're doing this briefing. We, we expect there to be, um, you know, starting Thursday night through early next week, there's going to be periods where we see some impactful winter weather. Here's a slide, just a, um, a quick refresher to let you guys know kind of how, how we issue our products. So we have some winter weather watches out right now. That's kind of the early heads up. We're, we're thinking conditions are favorable for winter weather. Uh, at some point, we either escalate that to a warning or uh, t talk about it being an advisory. If we go into warnings, that's a big storm or expecting high impact. Advisories are, are more typical storm, nuisance weather, moderate impact expected. For either one of those, uh, you, we still want people to be aware that there's, there's winter weather happening. Uh, Warning is just where we're maybe seeing those additional components of wind or something else to make it uh, even a little bit worse. So watch out for those uh, products being issued in the next couple days as we go through this very uh, active weather period. And then last, uh, you all know this, details continue to evolve. So we want to encourage you to check weather.gov slash Missoula for the latest advisories, warnings, and updates to the forecast. And you can always call us at 406-329-4840 for uh, specific questions you have. If you're, if you're looking at uh, doing something during that time period, please give us a call. And thank you for your time.